Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, I wanted to finish out the orbit coverage by quickly going over the on the fly orbit function. On the fly orbits are quick and easy to set up on site and allow for the pilot to change altitudes, gimbal angles, speed and direction during the flight, which makes them great for things like tower inspections. So let's get to it. Start with the drone in the air and then select the on the fly function button. Unless you have changed it, that will be a button on the left hand side with a lightning bolt icon. But you can also select this from the screen showing the mission plans at the bottom. Once the list of on the fly functions is displayed, select orbit. Click get started. Then start by flying above the center of the orbit, looking straight down. The screen has a target icon in the center and that will help with alignment. Line the target up over the center of the area you want to orbit and then press mark to mark that location and then press next. Now fly away from the center to the distance that you want to be when you're running the orbit. Here you can also adjust the altitude and the gimbal angle. Press mark again to set the radius and then press next again. Now you'll be asked if you want to customize advanced settings. Personally, I always answer yes to this. If you answer no, you will immediately be taken to the screen to generate the mission and it will have a bunch of defaults that might not be what you want. For example, I believe the default is that it will take video, which if you're looking to run tower inspections as I am here, that's probably not what you want. If you answer yes, you'll be asked some additional questions, such as whether you want to activate the sticks, which I always answer yes to, uh, the direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, how fast do you want the orbit to run? I usually set this at a low speed such as three miles per hour, just because I want to start things nice and slow and then manually increase the speed once it's up and running. But if you have a specific speed you need to run at, you can set this here. Set the gimbal pitch to the ground or current. Ground means obviously it will point down to the base. The media type, here I'm using photos. Note that there's no option here to set what photo type and interval you have. I set these to two second intervals before I started the drone link program, but you can also set it just before the mission. You'll be presented with a summary of the mission that you're about to create, and then you can press continue to generate the mission. Then press play. The mission will start and the media type selected will start being captured. You can now use the controls to adjust the altitude, gimbal angle, speed, etc. In fact, you can even use the sticks to slow it down and switch direction. Once you set a speed using the sticks, it will continue at that speed until you make a change. You can now continue to fly around until you're done and then simply press the pause button to stop. It won't stop unless you press the pause button. And that's it. It's a great little tool, very easy and fast to set up and something that I think everybody should be familiar with. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video.